Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an overclock using the new NVIDIA app. And it's super simple, but it's not quite as good as MSI Afterburner. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So first download and install the NVIDIA app. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna grab it from there. Then go from the home screen to the system tab, and then here go to the performance tab and you will go to this screen right here with an option for automatic tuning. So this is the overclock option. So just turn that on, it'll start scanning. And while you're doing this, make sure nothing else is running on your computer. So you basically wanna have fresh from a restart or something and then toggle this on. For me, it took about 40 minutes. I have a GTX 4070. I don't know if the card you have makes any difference, whatever. As you can see, I currently have stuff running in the background and it's gonna come up with a error like this. So the process was interrupted. More than likely it was wallpaper engine which was running. So definitely make sure you close everything off. So just to show you an example of a finished overclock, this is basically what it put out for me, which is nothing really special. And I've also found that you will almost always get this interrupted option here, though in my case, it actually finished and still showed that. So that's my overclock with the Nvidia app. And I'll just open MSI Afterburner and show you what the overclock is for that. So this is my MSI Afterburner overclock. It's a manual overclock. That's where I've got a core clock here that says curve. It's also undervolted and overclocked for a performance increase. And you can see that it's a lot bigger. So if you do have the time, I highly suggest going over to MSI Afterburner, get some information from a good YouTube video source with what your graphics card can actually do and you'll get a way better overclock. Anyway, that's the process for doing an overclock in the Nvidia app. I assume it's gonna get better in time, but for now, you're still probably better off using MSI Afterburner.